If you create braids in this way, you definitely need to watch this video. Select the cube, tap to edit mode, mouse right click, merge vertices, at center. Save a numpad to go to the top view. Go to the snap menu and select increment. Alright, hit E to extrude. By holding Ctrl, we can snap into the grid just like so. Ctrl R and scroll the mouse wheel to add three vertices right there. Select this one, G to grab and hold Ctrl to snap this point into there. Select this one and do the same thing, G to grab, hold Ctrl and here we go. We need to subdivide this one. A to select everything, mouse right click, subdivide. Select this vertex and this one, hold Shift, select this one and this one. One numpad to go to the front view. Hit G and hold Ctrl to snap into the grid just like so. All right, go to modifiers, add modifier, array modifier. From here, we can increase the count of the array modifier. Important guys to turn on merge. Okay, we need to add another array modifier. In the relative offset, we need to change this value into 0.030. Increase the count into 3 and here we go. When you are happy with that, go to Object, Convert and convert this into Curve. In the Properties menu, click here and go to Geometry. Alright, now we can increase the depth a bit and here we go. I like to turn on the wireframe effect in the viewboard. Click here, activate wireframe, decrease the opacity a bit. Hit Ctrl 2 to add a subsurf modifier. Of course, we can play with the depth again to get the result that we are looking for. You might be thinking, guys, how we can control the geometry. Well, it's so easy. Let me show you. Go with Shift A, Curve, and select Path. Alt Z to switch into the X-ray mode and scale this bad boy a bit, just like so. When you are done, we need to bring the origin into the 3D cursor. Go to Object, Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. Select the geometry again, go to Modifiers, Add Modifier, Curve Modifier. The target for the Curve Modifier is going to be the path in this case. Select the path again, tap to Edit Mode, select this point, G to grab and here we go. And of course we can scale these points along the curve with Alt S. And that's it guys, see you in the next one.